So the first thing you need to do in order to master the topic is to master the table here. All right. So these, this is called the standard value table, right? So you've got 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. So you've got only these five values. Of course, there can be so many values, right? Between 0 and 90, generally you have every degree and every degree divided into 60 minutes. And 60 minutes is divided into 60 seconds. So there's so many values if you look at the table. But these are the values which occur most often and which you should master. All right. How the values come, we'll discuss soon. First thing I want you to do is to just note down these values and look at the patterns in the table. So now you've got 0, 30, 45, 60, 90 and sine, cos and tan. In many books, you'll also find cosecant, secant and cot. But these three are sufficient because those are just reciprocals of these ratios, right? Look at the first row. You've got 0, half, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, 1. The second row is just the first row reversed, right? So 1 was the last term, 1 is the first term. Root 3 by 2, root 3 by 2. 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, 0. So it's just the first row written reversed. Now tan theta is simply sine theta divided by cos theta. So 0 by 1, 0. 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 is 1 by root 3. You can just see 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2. So that will be 1 by 2 into reciprocal of root 3 by 2. And that gives you 1 by root 3. Similarly, 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2 will be 1 because both are equal. Then you have root 3 by 2 divided by half. So that will become root 3 by 2 times 2 by 1. So these two will cancel. You will get root 3. This again, 1 by 0 is infinity. Before I go further, there are certain tricks to remember this particular table, which I'll tell you, but I do not want you to rely on those tricks. This table has to be learned by force, by repetition, and you have to master it. Okay? Let me give you an example. If there's a small child who has to learn A, B, C, D all the way till Z, right? And... Uh, he is not able to do that, then definitely we'll consider that he's not able to finish his work, is it not? Similarly, there is such a few number of values, you definitely can memorize it, okay? The checks are okay, just to verify it once in a while, or just to know that there are these kind of tricks available. That's enough. The tricks are only for that, okay? So one trick I'll tell you, which is very famous. So you've got 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. You write that, and of course your sign, cos tan. Now what you do is you write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here you write reversed 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Now divide each value by 4. All these values you divide by 4. And take the square root of all these values. Now see, 0 by 4 is nothing but 0, right? 0 by 4 comes to 0. Root 1 by 4 is 1 by 2. Root 2 by 4 is 1 by root 2. Root 3 by 4 is root 3 by 2. Root 4 by 4 is 1. And this is the same thing reversed. To get tan, as I told earlier, divide sine by cos. So again, you will get 0, 1 by root 3, 1, root 3, infinity. So this is the basic trick to construct this table but I do not wish that you should use it very often you must learn it learn the table by writing it several times what you do is you see it very carefully then you write it without seeing compare then again write it again compare repeat this five to six times and you will be pretty fluent with the table now a printout of this table can be taken and you can just put it somewhere near where you study you can put it all over the place so that you get familiar with it Okay, and that technique need not be limited only to the table. The basic mind map of each chapter, it's good to revisit, uh, revisit it as often as you can. All right, so make the, make the mind maps and try to paste them at places where it's easy for you to see.